Hi, welcome to Children's Corner. Just looking at one of our ornaments that we put on our tree here at church. We have a, a star tree. It's a tree with full of stars. I'm noticing that this one actually is broken. But it will help us explain something beautiful about God's Word. Actually, there's something about God's Word and this star that come together. One is because we're celebrating Epiphany, which means a manifestation, a revelation has just been revealed. And the star does just that. Now you remember what the star does, right? It's the uh, sign that uh, the wise men followed to find, well, they didn't know his name, but they were looking for a king. And these, these are the words that they said. Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we saw his star when it rose, and we have come to worship him. So the wise men followed the star because it would shine on the glory of God. And the glory was going to be found in a little baby. And they saw it face to face. And as soon as they did, you know what happened? It says here in scriptures, they fell down. Well, it says it this way. And going into the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they fell down. They fell down to the glory of the Lord. They realized the king was born. And this king was no ordinary king. This king would save the nations. Simeon once said it this way. It was a light to the Gentiles and the glory of his people Israel. So this light shines and those who follow it will follow and meet Jesus as he is revealed in all the glory. The light that we talk about, not only of the star for the wise men, but the light of God's word. Read this and it will reveal to you the epiphany of God's plan for salvation found in a child. That's right. This word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. And it will also guide us to Jesus. And once you find Jesus, you'll do what the wise men did. They just fell down and worshipped him. And you probably know the rest of the story. In the time of worship with Jesus, they offered him offerings of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And so it is with all of us. Some follow a star in order to worship him. Others read God's word. But it will always take you to the morning star. The star that shines bright in our darkness, which is Jesus. Because he'll take away all the darkness and bring to us his glorious light. Let's pray. Lord, Heavenly Father, thank you for coming into the darkness of our hearts that you may shine bright. Let others come to your light that they too may come and gather and worship you and offer you their offerings. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.